welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be talking about my courthouse wedding that I recently did. Me and my fiance recently eloped in Sacramento County. So we did our official wedding ceremony in a courthouse and I wanted to make this video to kind of explain like the process and you know what to expect if you are considering a courthouse wedding as well. So me and my fiance actually got engaged last year and I was pregnant at the time and I ended up you know having the baby and like life got really hectic and we were you know kept planning a wedding like some date in the future we were thinking oh you know maybe in like a few years once we save up and once the baby's older and so it kind of got like pushed to the back burner a little bit but we decided that we wanted to just officially you know sign the paperwork because we needed to do that anyway so we figured at the very least we would have that portion of it done and then at the most it could also just be fun to start that process and do the court house wedding because we were both really excited to just you know get the process going and we didn't want to wait any longer and we didn't want to just keep waiting just because you know we're saving for a wedding like an actual big wedding so we figured doing the courthouse wedding and the marriage ceremony in the courthouse would be the best option for us specifically with our situation with having a kid and you know we're looking to buy a house and we're moving and we have new jobs so if you are like us and you're kind of like in a transition period in your life and you might have like a blended family you might just have had a kid you might you know have all these different circumstances then i would definitely encourage you to look into a courthouse wedding so basically we live in sacramento county so you kind of have to go with the specific county that you live in so we just decided to do the one that was closest to us so they have different like little offices around where you live and you can choose which one you want to go to we ended up doing the one that was closest to us instead of going to a much nicer one there was a nicer one in San Francisco which was a two-hour drive from us so we decided we're not gonna take a little baby literally our baby was like five months old at the time and take this you know five month old drive two hours do the ceremony in San Francisco come back to Sacramento it's just too much so we decided you know we'll keep it sweet we'll keep it simple and not go too crazy and we'll save like all the elaborate stuff for our actual wedding in a few years right so we decided to do it in a strip mall <laughs> and i'll insert a clip of us me and my fiance driving to the actual office it's like a strip mall it's in a little plaza with all these other like shops and stuff it's the courthouse where we're getting married in the strip mall yeah we're gonna walk across the street to chipotle and then to that cat hotel. A cat hotel. <laughs> We're at the courthouse waiting for our turn. The most just handsome couple. The car. This couple just got married. Wire. They're taking photos. The higher. What's the right? What's the right? What's the right? There we go. Yay. So a happy. Oh, by the way, you have to make an appointment. <laughs> you can't just walk in. Some offices do allow walk ins, but I recommend that you make an appointment. So we made an appointment like about a month in advance. You know, I get all dressed up. I have like my nice white dress, my makeup done, hair done, everything. I made my own bouquet, which by the way, I am making a whole nother video on how I made my own bouquet. So I'll put a clip of my bouquet if you are interested to see what that looked like. And so, you know, we're rolling up. We have like my fiance's in his nice suit and tie. I'm in my white dress. I have my bouquet. And if you are doing a courthouse wedding, you don't have to go all out. Like I'm just extra and I decided to go all out because why not? You're gonna do the thing, just do it. You know, however you wanna celebrate it, however you wanna do it, don't be intimidated. When I tell you I walked into that little, you know, county office, beige from like floor to ceiling as far as the eye can see, and like every other couple was like dressed in like flip flops and like just very plain clothes and just super casual. And like here I am with like, I had my veil, I had my white dress, I had my high heels, my bouquet. I was really that bitch. And I was a little bit kind of like not embarrassed but I just felt a little bit overdressed but you know as they say you can never be overeducated or overdressed and I was both honey anyways 
So <laughs> I rolled up in there, you know, in my whole getup. And yeah, we signed in at the front counter. We filled out the paperwork. Um, we sat down, we took an oath. The, the lady was like just reading, you know, do you swear that the information listed is correct? Yes, I swear. We fill out all the paperwork, we pay a fee. So if you guys don't know with a courthouse wedding, there's actually two parts. There's the marriage license and the marriage ceremony. The marriage license has to be done through the county, right? It has to be done through a government entity. So that's one thing and you pay for that. I think it was like 60 bucks for the marriage license. So that's step one, right? And then there's the second step, which is the marriage ceremony. You don't have to pay for both things to be done in the same office, right? You could just get your marriage license and then go have your marriage ceremony by some you know some other officiant the officiant is the person who is legally allowed to marry you to right you and your partner so we paid for the marriage license and we paid for the marriage ceremony and we did both of those things on the same day in the same place so we get all signed in we take you know fill out the paperwork and then they have us wait in the waiting room <laughs> and then they call us into a separate room which is where the actual marriage ceremony would take place so they actually have some, you know, official person who is the officiant. They're dressed in like a robe and their job is basically to read your vows to you and you repeat them. And I'll insert a clip of that right now. We are gathered here in the presence of witnesses for the purpose of uniting in marriage, Michael and Sharon. I remind you both to remember that love, loyalty, and understanding are the foundations of a happy and enduring home. Michael, repeat after me. I, Michael. Take Shen, take Shen, to be my wife, to be my wife, to have and hold, to have and hold. From this day forward, from this day forward, for better or worse, for better or worse, richer or poor, richer or poor, sickness and health, sickness and health, to love and cherish, to love and cherish. Sharon, repeat after me, I, Sharon. I, Sharon. Take Michael. Take Michael. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and hold. To have and hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or worse. For better or worse. Richer or poor. Richer or poor. Sickness and health. Sickness and health. To love and cherish. To love and cherish. Good job. You did my With this ring, with this ring, I give, I give, in token and pledge, in token and pledge, of my faith and love, of my faith and love, with this ring, with this ring. So we, you know, do our vows. I stuttered a little bit because I was a little nervous, but all went well. It was super fast. It was really, really fast. Like literally we said our vows and that's it. He didn't really say like, you may now kiss the bride or like anything like that. So it was kind of like a little bit anticlimactic. It was just kind of like, oh, okay. Like, that's it. <laughs> I don't know what else we were expecting, but yeah, it was just like we said our vows and as you saw in the clip before, and it was really nice. It was really sweet and intimate and small. I had my, my baby, my son, and my mom was there, my grandma was there, my brother was there, and it was like a small, really intimate ceremony. I think they only allow like six people total, including your guests, so really four other people if you want to include like family and friends that are allowed to come to the actual ceremony but overall it was like quick painless easy simple you know affordable and i know a lot of people don't want to go the whole like big wedding route or you know you're like in the process of saving up for that big wedding so definitely a marriage ceremony at your you know local courthouse county office is the way to go in my personal opinion i had an amazing experience with them i hope you guys do too if you decide to do that but yeah that was just my experience and i was really happy with it i mean i was happy regardless it didn't matter matter where I was gonna get married, I just knew I, I was gonna do it and I was gonna be happy no matter what.
so I wasn't really too worried or too picky, right? So yeah, that was my experience and I just wanted to share that with you guys and yeah. So hopefully you guys found this useful and if you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and I'll be seeing you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.